Well, it's time to put on the white gloves and uh, grab another handful from the Bundesbank bag. And let's see what we find today. And let's see, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got, so, oops, one of them rolled away there. Okay, let's start, well, let's start with this one right here. This one will turn right side up. This one is from, so we got a grip of it here. This one's from Greece. This is two drachma from 1970. That's, that's the Greek king on it. I think he stepped down a couple of years after, after this though. And when we go here, we got another, ah uh, yes, the British, British penny with the uh, section of the shield and another here's another one with the section of the shield but much much nicer yeah it's a beauty what's what's the date on that uh, I've got a date around here somewhere uh, oh wait a minute no oops where hmm I got it to focus there there we go. Video. Oh, that's a, looks like twenty seventeen. It looks like yeah, twenty yeah twenty seven twenty seventeen. Notice the writing around it here. So it says, if we start from the top from the crown, it says Elizabeth the second, and then it says, um, and then it has D D E I and then G R A. That's short for De Gratia, which is the Latin word for the grip for by the grace of God. R E G Red, short for Regina, Queen, F I D Fide, and D E F Defensor. So, and it roughly the whole thing roughly translates to Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen, and Defender of the Faith. That's the label she has now. If you see a Canadian one, it has a picture of the Queen, but it, she's not described as defender of the faith on the Canadian coins. It's just, it's just De Gracia Regina. Well, there we go. That's the one. Again, a little more information about the British British penny. On we go here. We got a Yugoslav one. No, not one. It's ten. It's ten. This is ten para. This is an old one from quite a few years ago. Uh, so there it is, Yugoslavia. And when we go here, we got a Spanish uh, one peseta and another Spanish one peseta right there. There it is. And we have a, a two, a two P, but boy, it's really dark. It's got a really dark patina on it. So, and one of the somewhat older portraits of the Queen. I'm guessing this must be from the 1970s, but. Unfortunately, you can't read the date from here. Let's continue on here. We got Belgian one franc. Seen lots of those before. Ah, here's an interesting one. This is two order. And this is from the country of Denmark, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, not Denmark. I need to double check that. See, so, you know, just check and see. I'm sorry, no, this is two order from Sweden. Yeah, it's just got the one crown on the top. Uh, yeah, some of the others have the uh, the shield with the three crowns on it, which you rec which you can immediately recognize as being from Sweden. So there we go, that's one from Sweden. Very nice, very nice. Another Belgian one franc. <clears throat> Another Yugoslav ten denara. Yes, we've been... If you have anyone who's watched any of my previous videos, yeah, we've seen so many of those. British 1P, this is the portcullis one this time, no, rather than the shield one. Another Yugoslav, 10 dinara, a little nicer color here. Let's continue on. We got, oh, we got a Spanish 5 peseta. Now, <clears throat> you may remember in a previous one I mentioned, like, the little star right there is where you would see the last two digits of the date and <clears throat> it is really hard to see I'm gonna, one moment here i'm just going to grab my trusty scope here and aha uh -huh, wouldn't you know it it's worn away 
it is worn away. It's like a it's dateless, like a buffalo some of the buffalo nickels. Incredible. So there you have it. Boy, that one was well used though. But we know, of course, it's uh, 19, 1957 is the earliest date. But uh, there it is. No date. How about that? That's, that is a first for me. Netherlands, uh, Queen Juliana. I saw one one cent from the Netherlands, and another Belgian one franc, and a French ten centimes, and they schooled in color with the uh, picture of Marion on the other side, <clears throat> and the British 1P. Oh dear, that's a uh, horrible patina on that one. And there's a 2P, another one. Oh dear, that was also, that must, be, must have been from the same batch because it's got the same horrible patina on it. And there's a 1, 1P. Now there's a, there's a portrait I don't see too often. At least on the British British coins, a similar one is used in Canada. Here we have a uh, Italian 500 lira with the with the uh, statue, uh, well, the picture of Thor. Not sorry, not Thor. That's not Thor. That's Vulcan, and he's of course pounding away on an anvil and wearing absolutely nothing, not even an apron to protect himself from flying sparks. You know, not very smart, I thought. And this is Italia, this is the Lady Italia, who is a symbol of, of Italy, just like Lady Liberty is the symbol of the United States. Belgian Frank, again, oh, I got so many of those. Two more British pennies. <clears throat> and a Yugoslav 10 dinara. 2p, there's another 2p from Britain. And here we have a 5 dinar. This is an old, the old series because it's quite big. Yeah, 1972 is the date on this one. Oh, oh wait a minute. Now, <clears throat> I see something that's kind of interesting. This is a country that I don't find too many coins now of this. But that is from East Germany. Yeah. A rather typical communist symbol here. We got the wheat cheese inside, but the center though is a. Uh, it looks like I'm not sure what that is. It looks like an astrolabe or or, so, or something like that. Yeah, and this is a twenty fenig, 1969 from East Germany. Now there's two, there are some varieties of the East German with a different mint mark. The uh, most of them are struck in Berlin and have an A mint mark. I can find it here. Of course, I can't now. Of course, now I can't. Of course, the East German. No, maybe not. I'm gonna better. I'm gonna double check with my uh, with my trusty scope here. Just a moment. And okay, no, they don't even put the A on it anymore. No, not on this one anyway. Must be just on the aluminum ones. But on some of the East German ones, there's an E mint mark for a different mint. Those ones are quite rare. So if you ever come upon any East German coins, though I don't come on too many of them, but if you ever do, make sure to check for the E mint mark. Here's another uh, five peseta from Spain. Let, us, let me just see if I can read the D on, on, this, on this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, holy cow. No, it's gone too. That one's, that one's gone off. I'm batting, batting zero at the moment on those. There's a 10 forint from, uh, from Hungary. The, uh, with the shield on there. And then St. Stephen's crown with the bent cross on the very top of it. And then we have another Yugoslav 10 dinara and a 5 dinara and, oh, and another 10 Yugoslav 10 dinara and oh now this is interesting this is an older Belgian franc so this is a Belgian franc but this is an older one and that is definitely a collectible one I'll be keep, I'll be keeping that unless unless it turns out I have a, have one already in which case I will be happy to give this one away just to somebody <coughs> But um, there we go. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, nope, no, nope. I've made a mistake here. Would you believe it? I made a mistake. Let me just double check on here. Ah, no, 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 no. No, not Belgium. It's even better. It's Luxembourg. 
It's a Luxembourg franc. There's a country you probably don't encounter too often, the country of Luxembourg. Yeah, but there you go, Luxembourg. Sorry about that, not Belgium. But again, that is definitely worth, that's another collectible one along with the, uh, along with the East German one. That's, that's, be that's a beauty. Now we got another one here that I don't think I've seen in a while. Ah, this is interesting. This one, if I can figure it out here, one moment. Uh, let's see. Aha, thought I recognize it. It's from Bolivia. There's a country I don't encounter too often. Yeah, so this is a Bolivian, Bolivian coin, 25 centavos from 2007. Very shiny, that one. That's a, that's a nice one. Yeah, from, from Bolivia. So I'm going to go here, 10 filler from uh, Hungary again. This is an older 10, 10 filler with, uh, with a, I think that's a piece dove on it. That way it looks a bit scraggly. And we got a uh, French 10 centime, but not very shiny. This one's not very shiny either. Uh, over here we have... Uh, we have oh Portugal yes I know that shield that's that is a Portuguese that's a Portuguese coin there and we got the one another British cent another British penny got another Spanish five peseta but my goodness it looks like looks like she was in a fire for goodness sake how about that I won't even bother trying to read the date on that one there's just no point. British 2P, and finally we'll finish up here with uh, a French 10 franc, and another British penny, Yugoslav 10 denara, a Belgian 25 centime, French 5 centime, and Belgian franc, a Spanish peseta, and finally one drachma from Greece. So there we go. So that so we found so a few interesting ones, a few interesting ones in this search. Yeah, we got the one franc from Luxembourg. I think that's the first Luxembourg coin I found in this uh, in this bag. A twenty pfennig from East Germany. Yeah, a country that doesn't even exist anymore. Huh? And Bolivia. I think that's the first Bolivian coin I found in the bag as well. So some firsts today. So thank you very much for watching. And of course, if you enjoy this, please be please be sure to subscribe and of course, don't forget to ring the bell.